types of corrosion cell. Galvanic cell. In galvanic cell, the anode is the negative pole and the cathode is the positive pole. However, when current is impressed on a cell from an external battery or a generator, for example, in electroplating, reduction occurs at the electrode connected to the negative pole of the external current source and consequently this electrode is called the cathode. Similarly, the electrode connected to the positive pole of the external battery or generator is the anode. Hence, corrosion nomenclature is the opposite of electroplating nomenclature, where anode is positive and cathode is negative. Therefore, it is to remember the cathode as the electrode at which current enters from the electrolytic solution and the anode as the electrode at which current leaves to turn to the electrolyte. This situation is true whether current is impressed on or drawn from the cell. Dissimilar electrode cell. Corrosion process is most often electrochemical where, in aqueous media, the action is similar to that of taking place in a flashlight cell made up of a center carbon electrode and a zinc rod electrode separated by an electrolyte consisting essentially of ammonium chloride solution in a dry cell. A light bulb connected to both electrodes glows continuously, the electrical energy being supplied by chemical reactions at both electrodes. At the carbon electrode, chemical reduction occurs and at the zinc electrode oxidation occurs, metallic zinc being converted into hydrated zinc ions. The greater the flow of the electricity through the cell, the greater is the amount of zinc that corrodes. The dry cell is an example of the dissimilar electrode corrosion cell. A metal containing electrically conducting impurities on the surface as a separate phase, a copper pipe connected to an iron pipe, and a bronze propeller in contact with steel hull of a ship are other examples of the dissimilar electrode corrosion cell. Concentration cell. They are similar to galvanic cells except with an anode and cathode of the same metal in a heterogeneous electrolyte. Therefore, these are the corrosion cells having two identical electrodes each in contact with an environment of different composition or concentrations. They are generally two kinds of concentration cells. One is salt concentration cell and next is differential aeration cell. Salt concentration cell. If one copper electrode is exposed to a concentrated copper sulfate solution and another to a dilute copper sulfate solution as shown in the figure, copper dissolves from the electrode in contact with the dilute solution and plates out on the other electrode. Both reactions tend to bring the solution to the same concentration. Differential aeration cell. This includes two electrodes of the same materials in the electrolytic solution, the electrolyte around one electrode being thoroughly aerated, cathode, and the other de-aerated, anode, by bubbling of nitrogen gas. The difference in oxygen concentration produces a potential difference and causes current flow. Such type of corrosion cell accounts for the pronounced crevice type of corrosion damages. Furthermore, the differential aeration corrosion cell also accounts for pitting corrosion under rust or at the waterline. This type of corrosion cells usually initiates pits in the stainless steels, aluminum, nickel and other passive metals also. Concentration cells may be set up in soils by variation in the amount of oxygen in soils, differences in moisture content of soils and differences in the compositions of the soil. Concentration cells are commonly observed in underground corroding structures, such as buried pipes and tanks. The inequality of dissolved chemicals causes a potential difference which establishes anode in the more concentrated region and cathode in the less concentrated region. Differential temperature cell. Components of the differential temperature cells are electrodes of the same metal immersed in an electrolyte of the same initial concentration with different temperature. The copper electrode in copper sulfate solution at high temperature is the cathode and the copper electrode at lower temperature is an anode. Therefore, copper deposits on the hot electrode and dissolves from the cold electrodes on short-circuiting the copper-copper cell. Differential temperature corrosion cells are found in heat exchangers, boilers, immersion heaters, and so on. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, bye-bye, see you.